this point, I would have to imagine that anything that we watch that has something to do with 4chan, you're not going to be surprised by any of it. I don't, I don't know if I can say that. I mean, I'm more, you like, since doing this channel, I'm more accustomed to people just being absolute shitbags, so, yeah. I mean. They've done some good stuff. Yeah. A girl who got in, you know, a lot of trouble with some gentlemen who filmed it that were football players and were going to get away with it got those videos ripped from their devices and sent to the police uh, by 4chan, so... Did I learn about that? I told you about it. Oh, I don't remember. But, you know, I mean, there's been some stuff that's been... I guess I just meant, like, what we're oh, preparing to see. Just the trolling stuff is what I would imagine they're most well-known for. Yeah. Yeah. So, a video got suggested to us, jump on it as soon as we possibly can because it was something that we needed to see. And when we get urgent news like that, like a, a bat signal from the comment section, we're here. We're on it. We heard you. We listened. With my big ears, I listened. With my ADD, Nikki smashes me over the head a million times to remind me, because she asked to. Here we are, for you. ADHD. But anyway. <laughs> this is Top 10 4chan Pranks featuring Internet Historian. And this is a guy that I've seen on my suggested, um, on my video suggestions. And it is uh, the gamer from Mars is the content creator that is the main man on this video. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it up and let's check this out. Top 10 pranks. Are you ready for this? Let's go. It was in quite some time, mainly because last time I made one, YouTube blacklisted it from being recommended to people, but I really just don't care anymore, so I'm back again for part five. And today I'm being helped by the internet historian. So let's get started with a new batch of 4chan pranks. Fiverr has everything. Graphic design, voiceovers, website development, video editing, the list goes on. But by far, the most amusing thing you can do on the site is commission non-English speakers to say offensive things on camera. Such was oh. the cause of the downfall of Pinor Cut Enterprises. Really? Okay, well, Pinor Cut Enterprises would have young Indian children in a rural village read a brief message of your choosing. Oh, the proceeds went to furthering their education. Win-win. And of course, the people of 4chan have big hearts, so they wanted to show oh. their support. Red quill can, red quill can, melt, melt, steel wheels, steel wheels. While many of the people on Fiverr will turn down these kinds of gigs, Pinor Enterprises likely didn't quite understand the meaning of what was oh, read. Oh, yes, Hello, me! Hello, me! Is a mistake! Is a mistake! <laughs> Unfortunately, the fun ended when Fiverr took down their page for breaching terms of service. By the way, I heard these kids all died like a week before graduation. Good job, Fiverr. There are a few things that Tumblr loves more than Steven Universe. The animated Probably. Cartoon Network show has resonated more with certain groups of adults rather than children. With its unique comedy style, diverse cast of characters, and progressive themes, it should be no surprise why Tumblr enjoys it. Of course, some people over at 4chan saw this appreciation for the show as easily exploitable to get a rise out of fans, so they started to come up with ideas. What they settled on was to make fan art for the show that would trigger the biggest outcry, and that would be by whitewashing the cast. It may be impossible to offend 4chan, but the opposite can be said about Tumblr users. By taking this diverse show and turning all the characters white in the fan art, they hoped it would cause a great deal of distress from the site as a whole, and it worked perfectly. 4chan went all out, going as far to make the black cookie cat yellow, and soon after, Tumblr users started Jesus. to freak out at their favorite characters from underrepresented groups being turned white. This is so offensive. White Ginger Stevani? Stevani is agender and brown. Brown, brown, brown with thick curly black hair. This isn't a creative interpretation. It is an artistic license. It's whitewashing. It's racist. And there is no room for it in the Steven Universe fandom. At the end of the day, they were able to upset a decent chunk of Steven Universe fans, allowing them to have a sensible chuckle. 
Starbucks is the largest coffee oh chain in the God. world with over 25,000 outlets. And although they're slowly going out of business in Australia, they've decided to focus on more important things, like mouthing off about politics. In response, the users of Poll suggested a little PR campaign to help them on their quest for virtue. So, Undocumented Immigrant Day was announced. Free or discounted coffee for all illegals on a certain date. Everyone else liked that idea? So the border free coffee hashtag was started with a legitimate looking promo. It was a great success, and Starbucks had to put out an official statement calling out the hoax. But that wasn't the end of messing with Starbucks, oh no. Things escalated in 2018 when two black men were arrested in one of their Seattle chains, causing many to accuse the company of racism. 4chan saw this as a chance to create more chaos. They started a oh new fake God. Starbucks ad that claimed that the company would now give black people unlimited free coffee <laughs> as a form of reparations for slavery. Alright boys, fire up the Twitter cannon. Let's get this trending. With that, they went to work spreading around the fake coupons. One guy, Hotep Jesus, knew it was fake but tried it out anyway and filmed the whole thing. I'm about to get my free coffee. Alright, I heard y'all was racist, so I came to get my own... Um... Free coffee? I saw that. Yeah, I heard you guys don't like black people. So I wanted to get my Starbucks reparations voucher. This is justice. This is what I'm talking about. What's your name? I appreciate you. Amanda, Amanda, you are a great. Is it? You're amazing. In previous She's 4chan like, prank videos, I've talked about how they even... trick people into microwaving, <laughs> drenching, and drilling their $1,000 Apple iPhones. Believe it or not, though, racist. there's more. In early 2016, <laughs> yeah, 4chan realized that the new iPhone had a bug in it where if you set the operating system to a specific date, it could brick the phone. With that in mind, they came up with a convincing ad to trick people into doing it. Blast from the past. The original Macintosh introduced the world to computers, forever changing the way people experience technology and allowing people to do things that were never possible before. With this yeah. easter egg, warp back in time with a class Macintosh theme to relive the magic on your iPhone. Change the date on your iPhone to January 1, 1970, press and hold the power button to reboot your device, and prepare for a wild ride. There's no way of knowing how many people destroyed their iPhones doing this, but eventually Apple felt the need to come forward and let people know that they were going to fix this bug with the next update. It's unknown what 4chan is going to try to do next to trick Apple users. A dog whistle is when you say something, a particular word or phrase, so that a specific segment of the audience understands an implicit meaning that the rest of the audience might not. But the thing about dog whistles is they can also be ambiguous, and a few too many news outlets are calling them out where they don't actually exist. 4chan saw the policing of speech ramping up and sought to see whether they could make these publications report on ever more ridiculous non-whistles. To start, they proclaimed that the OK sign oh, yeah. and emoji actually signaled white power. Coincidentally, the OK makes a W and a P. Well, that's all the evidence a journalist needs. Everyone from Barack Obama to Eddie Murphy was accused of saluting white power. This also ventured into the peace sign standing for only two genders oh and a number of other spots. Eventually the Anti-Defamation League stepped in to explain that it was all a hoax. But some journalists dug their heels in and refused to believe People it was just a prank on bro. That. Circle the one. 50 Million Names Project was started by fetal rights advocates that were strongly against the termination of unborn fetuses. Their website described themselves as a grassroots campaign to collect names for the now more than 50 million children aborted in our country. The concept was that people could fill in names of these unborn oh, children so that they could be listed on their website as well yeah. as posted on their Twitter account automatically by a bot. This was all in hopes of bringing attention to their cause. That is, until 4chan became involved. Mm. When one user found out about the site, he immediately posted how easy it would be to abuse the system, and many others agreed that they should start submitting interesting names. It started out on the simple side with them entering song lyrics like Never Gonna Give You Up as being names of children. This was only the start because they quickly discovered that since the bot would tweet out any name they wrote, they could direct their message at different companies by using oh. their handle. Because of this, one person decided to submit the baby name at American Airlines, I'm going to blow up a plane if I don't get $50,000 cash. Not understanding it was a bot, American Airlines took the message very seriously oh. and reported it to their security. 
After many attempts to control these trolls, the pro-life advocates gave up and closed down the project altogether. Interestingly enough, many people that are usually against 4chan pranks supported them on this one because they were messing with a group that they didn't politically agree with. Take from that what you will. Listen, here are the acceptable flavors of potato chip. Salt and vinegar, yes. barbecue, yes. nacho, no. ready salted. That's it. Everything else is a heresy. But Lay's is one of those companies vinegar, that just no can't leave you. well Sorry. enough alone. Operating since 1932, they're constantly trying to come up with the new hit flavor. Short on ideas, in 2014, they decided to create an online contest where people could submit their own oh, flavor no. suggestions to the company. Predictably, 4chan got involved, oh, and no. they have quite an There's eclectic so palette. Fans. Toothpaste yeah. and orange juice, Ugh. sour milk, throbbing horse meat, <laughs> flesh, half a virgin, deliciously small Vietnamese, uh. you're adopted, an actual frog, Doritos flavor, the Krabby <laughs> Patty formula, unsalted whole unpeeled potato, gas station sushi, Ew. hot ham water. <laughs> to go without saying that none of these were accepted. One of the greatest mysteries in the last few years is the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. The plane was scheduled to fly from Malaysia to its destination, Beijing, China, but somewhere along the way it vanished with no one knowing what happened. This turned into a huge search effort with news stations covering it 24-7. But as weeks passed on without answers, many started to theorize what happened. With it quickly turning into a full-out conspiracy, this led many to see an opportunity to troll, including many on 4chan. The most popular of these made-up stories was of Philip Wood, who was on the plane before it was hijacked by the United States government. While they confiscated all the other passengers' phones before landing at a secret base, he stuck his phone up his rectum so they couldn't find it. Once they landed, he left one Hope last message to expose oh what really happened. This story was 100% fake if you couldn't figure that out already. Okay. But it didn't stop many on 4chan to spread it around, hoping it would catch on with the types that fall for any conspiracy they hear. And this plan did work out with the story being sent across the world. To this very day, we still don't know what happened on that flight. But what I can say for sure is that Philip Wood had nothing to do with it. Wow. A few years ago, the French Girls app was taking the internet by storm. It allowed people to take a selfie of themselves, which would then be sent to artists around the world for them to draw a portrait based on the photograph. It was a simple enough premise that gained some traction and publicity. Naturally, 4chan saw it as an easy target for some trolling. They told others to download the app and get to work. The best were uploaded onto the threads. The app lost popularity shortly after a few 4chan raids, but it's unclear if this actually helped with the downfall or people were just naturally losing interest. Since the site's inception, 4chan has been ramping up how elaborate they're willing to go with their trolling. But up until 2015, they thought pretty small by simply overriding internet contests and pranking people they didn't like. That was until Donald Trump announced he was running for president. Ladies and gentlemen, I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. With over-the-top statements, a bombastic personality, and readiness to mock and offend anyone he didn't like, Trump seemed like the perfect fit for an endorsement by 4chan. Up until this point, the site's users weren't really known to support politicians, but this all was about to change. Beginning in the early days of his campaign, many on 4chan started to show their support and helped him in the best way they could, creating memes. Whether it was to bash his opponents or make him look good, they started to effectively court young and old voters alike onto the Trump train. Donald Trump and his son <clears throat> Donald Trump Jr. embraced the memes, and it made sense considering his support kept on growing throughout the primary. When he went on to the general election, his opponent, Hillary Clinton, actually had to pay people to run accounts online that supported her, a service that 4chan had provided Trump for free. As the months went by, the politically incorrect board didn't give up the fight. Then on election night, they discovered their pick won. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. Some may say I'm over exaggerating by claiming 4chan made Donald Trump president, and you know what, you're probably right. 
But when almost every single traditionally respected newspaper in America backed Hillary for the election, and ah, Trump what? still won, I have trouble believing that they didn't help at all. So there you have my picks for another 10 4chan up? pranks. And until next time, we thanks did. for watching. Oh, and also, if you have nothing else to watch, please go and watch my collaboration with the internet historian on his secondary account. So I'll leave that right there for you. Beautiful. So again, I'll see you next time. Hold on, I have to go do something. No. Are you serious? I'm out the best flavor. Are you serious? Barbecue no. Is the best flavor. Barbecue is a great flavor. I agree with everything he said. I'm gonna vomit, man. Don't eat that trash all up in my face, man. That's So I ordered these for pickup and didn't realize they gave me the biggest bag of chips I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Would you like to share No, some? get that shit out of my face, dude. It, it is funny as shit that they put in all those names for that site that was like... Oh, man. I kind of remember the chip one. Yeah, but do you... Like, that's an example of the fact that they don't give a shit. They're trolling. Yeah. They really don't give a shit. And it's yeah. like, oh, well, you're going to cause the world to burn. They're like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay maybe you'll help trump win like whatever, like whatever. It's funny. because it triggers and trolls people literally the only reason for most of the shit like who fucking <laughs> cares about you know whatever right well i've in large part don't but this past year's changed a little bit of that other than the fact that i have the ability to laugh about fucking anything almost it's ridiculous yeah but, but anyway i, I appreciate internet historian for helping people out and gamer from mars first video of his i've watched mm -hmm. pretty well curated yeah pretty well done um i'll definitely be checking out some more of that but um yeah i'm not surprised by any of this stuff no at all the apple one was fucking hilarious the the children reading the english words, oh dude how hammered that was so oh bad. that one was bad <sighs> they've done does. worse yeah yeah but anyway, good video. I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, give us a thumbs up, a subscription. That would be great. Suggestions? In the comments. Send us links. Let us know what you want us to watch because we listen. We pay attention. Hopefully, you know, you, you can hook us up with some badass videos that are going to blow our minds and be the greatest thing ever. I believe in you. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this one. Yep. And until then, we'll see you, see you next time.